Hi, I'm Gina Tech of WCPS TV, and we're here at the Cook County Jail High School to bring you the kickoff concert of the Jazz Express Education Program. The project presents live concerts at Chicago area high schools to give students an awareness, understanding, and appreciation of jazz music and of its importance to American culture. The concert celebrates the contribution of various artists to the historical development of this uniquely American art form, and the concert also features Chicago area professional musicians. So sit Sit back, relax, and enjoy the music. As you know, Chicago is home to the largest free jazz festival in the world. It takes place the latter part of August 1st of September at Grant Park. And I'd like to introduce the individual who's responsible for it, who directs it, and also a board member of the Jazz Institute. Let's meet Penny Tyler. Penny? <laughs> Penny has done more for jazz in Chicago than anyone I can think of. We're so happy to see her here. Let me introduce the drummer. First, I'd like to ask you if you know the name Charlie Parker. Have you ever heard Charlie Parker? Yeah. Miles Davis? Yeah. Dizzy Gillespie? Yeah. Nancy Wilson? Yeah. Joe Williams? Yeah. Ramsey Lewis? Yeah. Well, the musicians I, have, I will introduce to you have played with all of these people and many, many more. First, let's meet drummer Wilbur Campbell. Wilbur Campbell has played with Charlie Parker and Miles Davis. Wilbur, let's bring on Orbert Davis on trumpets. Incredible trumpet man. Kernelly. On bass, Larry Gray. He's worked with Dizzy Gillespie and Dorothy Donegan. Teaches music at Northern Illinois and DePaul University. Let's meet Edward Peterson. Ella Fitzgerald knows Edward Peterson and so does Cedar Walton. And Nancy Wilson and Joe Williams. And now, let's welcome the young lady who is establishing a reputation of her own. Her father is a tremendous musician. His name is Willie Pickens. Her name is Bethany Pickens on piano. Bethany, where are you? <laughs> Bethany Pickens, okay. A terrific, now you watch this guy because he's gonna set this place on fire along with everybody else. He's a terrific percussionist. Let's meet Alejo Paveda, Alejo. And let's see, there's Harry, okay, that's me. And now it's my great pleasure and privilege to introduce to you the chief himself, the emperor on the drums, Mr. Wilbur Campbell. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Irv Zucker, and I am the chairman of the Education Committee of the Jazz Institute of Chicago, and uh, we put this program together. Uh, this program is a jazz education and cultural enrichment project of the, Chicago, of the Jazz Institute of Chicago. And every two weeks we go to a different Chicago public high school, and we hope to make students aware of jazz music, which is part of America's cultural heritage. And we believe it's America's first original art form. And uh, this is the first uh, program of jazz education that's system-wide in the Chicago public schools. And uh, we expose students to different styles of jazz from the early forms uh, to the bebop and to the modern forms and contemporary forms of jazz music. Mm -hmm. And this is the kickoff concert. Why did you select the Cook County Jail High School? Um, we tried to go to all of the high schools and we felt that given what is going on in our society today with gang activity, with teenage violence, we felt that this was an important gesture to the young people and to show them that we care about them and a lot of the students that are in the Cook County Jail High School are uh, children who haven't been very successful in their adjustment to growing up and to school and so on. And we wanted to present this uh, cultural enrichment project for them. A lot of these students have never he heard jazz in their lives before. So this is an opportunity for us to expose another population to this music. Obviously a program like this takes money. Can you tell us about how you're funded and who some of your funders are? Um, we apply for grants from different foundations and uh, also from government agencies. Uh, we get some funds from City Arts, and the Chicago uh, uh, cultural uh, uh, program here, and we get funds from the Lloyd A. Fry Foundation, uh, from the Marshall Fields Foundation, uh, and various other foundations from Lila Wallace Reader's Digest Fund, and so on. And uh, when we write the grants, we explain what we're trying to do, and uh, we get funding for it. Uh, we are going to be producing our 100th concert this season of the Jazz Express. We've been producing concerts for the last eight years in the Chicago Public Schools. And uh, right now we're a little bit low on funds, so if there are any foundations or corporations out there that are interested in funding the Jazz Express, please contact the Jazz Institute of Chicago and let us know you're interested in funding this type of cultural enrichment activity for our students here in the city. How long has this program been going on and how long, how much longer do you expect it to keep going? We hope to be going on forever, really, and uh, as long as there's a Chicago Public Schools. We've been doing this for eight years and this is about our 98th concert right now, our kickoff concert. And we have enough funds this year for another five or six concerts. Normally we'd be producing 15 or 16 concerts a year, so we are short on funds this year. And no. And we're still applying for grants, so we hope more money materializes. And why do, ha, has this project uh, focused on the uh, Chicago public schools? Uh, the Jazz Institute is located in Chicago, uh, and uh, Chicago has been at the forefront of jazz music ever since its inception. Uh, at DuSable High School, uh, there was a very gifted uh, teacher, the band director, uh, Captain Walter Diet, and probably more than 200 prominent jazz musicians came out of his music program, including Wilbur Campbell, who was uh, one of our musicians, uh, the leader, the artistic leader of this band. And uh, Wilbur is standing right over there, and you might want to talk to him. But uh, Chicago's been at the forefront of this creative music. Uh, there were musicians who came out of all of the different high schools, and they all became prominent and internationally recognized and uh, the Chicago Public Schools uh, is really always in a state of financial crisis and they really don't have the funds to have these kinds of cultural enrichment activities uh, as you know with all of the things going on with funding in the state legislature there's not enough money to do this kind of a thing so the Jazz Institute felt it was important to be able to present this music to the schools. Anything else you'd like to add about this project? Uh, I can't think of it. Uh, the phone number of the Jazz Institute is 4271676. And we're at the Fine Arts Building, 410 South Michigan Avenue. Okay. Thank you, Thank very, you much. very much. Thank you.